Welcome back everyone to the Xamarin Show, Snack Pack Edition. I'm your host James Montemagno and today we're looking at one of my favorite topics which is plugins for Xamarin and Windows. Essentially giving you a drop dead simple cross-platform API for all those platform specific APIs that really make iOS, Android, and Windows really spectacular. What's really important about Xamarin is that you're creating native iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows, and tvOS, and Android Wear applications. So this means that you have access to every single API in all those different platforms. But often, those, pl those APIs can be similar, like notifications, or geolocation, or text-to-speech, or something like that. So instead of having to learn those APIs for, and implement them over and over again, we've worked with the community to build this beautiful open source um, uh, libraries called Plugins for Xamarin that abstract all that business logic away. So you have a simple API. Let's take a look. Now here is the, that structure, right? You have a shared C-sharp app logic, which is your models, view models, uh, Azure integrations. And if you're using Xamarin Forms, well, you have a shared C-sharp user interface code base. Or maybe you're using traditional Xamarin, so you have an Android XML, a storyboard file, and XAML for Windows. Then you have that native apps up top. And those are the APIs, that purple and, and green and blue, the native APIs of each platform. So when you head to xamarin.com slash plugins, you can learn all about plugins. Essentially, there's a series that will of plugins that abstract things like camera, geolocation, settings, permissions, connectivity, file system, notifications into a simple API. You can learn a little bit about them, but most importantly, browse the plugins for Xamarin. This will take you to our Xamarin components repository that are all open source from Xamarin, but down here are the community provided open source plugins. Let me zoom in just a little bit more here. What we've done is many Xamarin's, but also uh, people in the community and developers in the community have been creating these plugins. Things like barcode scanning, Bluetooth low energy, calendar, connectivity, uh, cryptography, embedded resources, file picking, fingerprint, uh, uh, iBeacon, lamps. I mean, all this stuff is all in here abstracted into a simple API. So what I want to do today is show you how to get started with a few of these. Uh, I'm going to pick a few that I actually created. Uh, connectivity and text-to-speech. We're going to consume these APIs and then use them really easily. So let me show you how to get started. So when I'm here on the screen, let's say I want to learn about connectivity. So here's connectivity. I can take a look at the NuGet and the GitHub. And here's the NuGet package that's available. I can see it's xam.plugin.connectivity. I can see who the owners are, and this has been downloaded quite a few times. I can go to the actual GitHub repository and I can learn about the actual um, connectivity plugin here. We can see it's in uh, some sort of CI service. We can see the platforms that it supports and the API usage that everything is called crossconnectivity.current. So let's jump into a very simple application that I have here. It's just a Xamarin Forms application and I've added two buttons. The first one is a button to say check connectivity, uh, one uh, label to output the status and another one to output the type. Then I have another one to say speak and to speak some stuff back. And that's it. I can see the Xamarin Forms preview on the right hand side showing me what my, my beautiful user interface that I created in five seconds is going to do. So now here's what I can do is I can come over here and I can say manage NuGet packages. And this is going to show me all my NuGet packages that I have available. But I'm going to come in here and say xam.plugins.connectivity.plugin.connectivity. Should be there. We can actually go ahead and see what the NuGet is called, Xam Plugin Connectivity. There's a few ways to get NuGets in here really easily. Oh, we're under install, we gotta browse. There we go. So there's our connectivity plugin. So xam.plugin.connectivity. You could also say connectivity plugin. All right, and then that will essentially search, and that is the first result, but there's a few other ones in there. Now, most importantly, whether you're using Xamarin Studio or Visual Studio, you wanna make sure that you install plugins into all of the different projects that you have. This is really important because the actual implementation for iOS, Android, or Windows is in the actual platform-specific DLL that will get installed. So this is going to install it into all my projects really quickly. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and give NuGet a second to install everything. And when we come back, we'll also take a look of maybe doing text-to-speech. So I'll go down to text-to-speech, and we can look at the GitHub or the NuGet that's here. Here's the NuGet package, and this is Xam Plugins Text to Speech, so we'll copy that here. And now we've installed, we can see a little README text that shows you what gets installed with the specific NuGet. 
Let's go back over here and actually search for text-to-speech. There we go. And again, I'm going to install this version into my actual project. Now, a lot of the plugins that you'll see have standardized on naming conventions, on package names. Uh, and when you go into the GitHub, you'll find uh, samples and a bunch of different things about the actual plugin. So make sure to go to that GitHub page or the README text and make sure that you learn about the plugin that you're about to use. And all the source code is available and everything is licensed under MIT uh, that's there. All right, so now uh, our plugins are installed and we're finalizing installing the, the plugin for text to speech here into our code. And there we go. When I go to my uh, installed, Packages, we can see that I have all this stuff installed, connectivity, plugin. Let's go to our code behind for that page. Now, this is pretty simple. I just have a little click handler for the button and to speak. So the first thing that I'm going to do is and say using and then plugin dot. And I can bring in a few namespaces such as connectivity and I'll say using plugin dot text to speech. That's going to give me access to the specific APIs of the platform. So now whenever I go ahead and actually click on the connectivity, I can say uh, label connectivity status, and let me go ahead and zoom in here for us. Dot text, and I'll say equals, and I'll say status. And there's a few things that I can do here. For instance, I can say var status equals, and I'll say cross connectivity dot current, and I'll say is connected. And if it is connected, we'll say is connected. Uh, else, I'll say none, not connected. There we go. So then what I can do is I can come down here and input our status right here. There we go. Cool. The next thing I can do is I could say label connection type dot text and I'll say type. There we go. And I'll just say cross connectivity dot current dot uh, connection types. And I'll just say uh, to string maybe on there and see what it outputs. There we go. The connection types will give us an I enumerable. I could go ahead and uh, go to definition here. And we can see that this is everything that's in I connectivity. So I can see the bandwidths. I can see the connection types. I can see if it is connected. I can get a connectivity change. I can ping a, a URL if I need to. That's there. Cool. So now we're looking pretty good. If I come back to the code behind, uh, here. And then I can maybe go and do some text-to-speech on the different platforms. So let's say I come in and I can say, you know, cross text-to-speech.current and I'll say speak. That's the API that I have available to me. Now this is really nice because if I zoom in here, we can see that uh, what I'm going to do is have a whole bunch of different things available to me, such as the text, if I want to queue it, the lo locale that I want to do, and I'll say, hello, Xamarin show. There we go. So speak it back. There's my API. In my shared code, 100%, in my portable class library or .NET standard library, it's all shared. And it'll just play back the correct implementation on iOS, Android, or Windows. So let's go ahead and run this really quick. I'm going to have an Android emulator spun up right here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit debug. And what we can do is we can go ahead and add some breakpoints into this code. Let's actually put it on the last one here when I click that button. This is a build up and package the application. Uh, sometimes it's a good idea to do a clean and rebuild to make sure you have everything all cleaned up specifically. So this will build the Android application. And again, uh, just because I'm calling this cross-platform API doesn't mean that it's still not calling the native APIs. In fact, it is, and that's how plugins work, is it's still calling the underlying native APIs of each platform. So we're going to start this debug session, and we're going to see this beautiful uh, application with a few buttons on it here. And I can say, uh, check connectivity. And when I do so, uh, here we go, I can see, am I connected? The connectivity is true. If I look at the connection types, we can see that one type is available, which is cellular in this instance for the emulator. I can continue on. There we go. Now this just actually gave me the two string that it's a connection type, but I could, I could uh, change this up a little bit. And I'll just say, uh, let me get the uh, first one, for instance. Let's assume that there's one in there. And I'll grab it from the array. I'll say dot first. There we go. Let's run it one more time. At least so we get the first connect, connect and type out of there. We'll use a little link query here. That'll be a little bit cleaner. There we go. And in this instance, we'll go ahead and uh, check connectivity again. And there we go. Is connected cellular. If I want to speak some stuff, I'll just say speak stuff. Hello, Samuel, show. Boom. 
the Luke Xamarin Show. And just like that, it's using the Android APIs to speak back the actual text to me. Now check this out. I could run this on iOS or Android. Let me just run it here on uh, a Windows 10 desktop application. So I'll set the UWP application as my startup. I'll start here um, uh, without debugging in this instance. We'll just go ahead and start it up. And there's my application. I can say check connectivity is connected. I'm on Wi-Fi because I'm on Wi-Fi here on, on MSFT Corp. And I can speak stuff. Hello, Xamarin Show. Whoa, awesome. So now with just two lines of code, I'm checking connectivity and I'm speaking back text automatically. I didn't have to go learn the Android or iOS or and Windows APIs. It's all handled for me. But all the source code is available too. So just like that, you can get started building beautiful native apps and integrating all these great APIs that are available using plugins for Xamarin and Windows. Until next time, this has been The Xamarin Show, and I'm James Montemagno. Thank you.